a 100-year-old cave in Hawaii is discovering new life forms. July 2022 saw a discovery from Hawaii, as researchers believe that they may have found the smallest living organisms on Earth. We don't yet have a whole host of information available to us regarding these organisms, but we do know that their presence is somewhat unexpected. Lava caves in Hawaii, some of which are centuries old, have formed an intricate network of tunnels and caves under the surface. These are the leftover scars of volcanic processes hundreds of years in the past. As you can imagine, these dark, cold caves are filled with various toxins and minerals that do not seem as though they could support healthy life forms. But these extremophile microbes, dubbed by the media as the smallest living organisms on Earth, seem to be thriving in these conditions. Researchers recently stumbled across these groups of microbes living within the volcanic vents. These are rather mysterious creatures, and there is a good chance that there are many more lying in wait, undiscovered and waiting to be found. Some have asked that if these organisms have been able to survive in lava tubes for up to 800 years, what other conditions could they survive in? And could they last in extraterrestrial conditions as tough as those on Mars? These microbes seem to be somewhat adaptable, playing host to a very diverse population. It has been said that the change in their environmental structure is reflected in a change of their own social ones too. Active caves see a landscape in which the microbes can grow together, though in older caves, the microbes have been observed to cover volcanic basalt, and in the harshest conditions, they are not afraid to compete with one another, making different environments more habitable. This serves as a reminder to those in scientific fields that microbes must be studied alongside one another and their surroundings, looking at the impact of co-culture and not simply in a lab and in isolation. These organisms interact and take on roles dependent on what the scenario requires of them. This discovery is truly exciting, with an adaptable tiny species being found defying all odds given their environment. Mauna Loa, the world's biggest volcano, is waking up. Hawaii is no stranger to geologic and seismic commotion. The people who live on the islands are used to living beneath the shadow of beautiful volcanic peaks, even active ones. In fact, the big island is made up of five conjoined volcanoes that include the most active volcano in the world and the largest volcano in the world. Recently, researchers who have been monitoring the geologic activity have said that the latter of these two, the enormous Mauna Loa, might be slowly coming back to life after almost three decades of inactivity. Although researchers say that the eruption of the massive volcano, which comprises about half of the Big Island's landmass, is not likely to occur immediately, they do warn that its activity is becoming increasingly unsettled. Of note, there were over 200 small earthquakes recorded by the Hawaii Volcano Observatory coming from beneath the volcano over the course of a week in 2021. This indicates that the magma which typically stays hidden below the Earth's crust might be currently filling up Mauna Loa's volcanic storage system, causing pressure and steam to build up that could likely trigger an eruption. Although researchers studying the activity have emphasized that they cannot say for certain whether an eruption is imminent or how explosive it will be, the threat of eruption from the world's largest volcano is no small matter. Based on the location of the summit and the path of lava flows, a significant eruption could send fiery lava to Kalua Kona, a main tourism center, and Captain Cook in as little time as a few hours. Additionally, toxic gases emitted by the event can cause significant problems for residents in a widespread area. However, Mauna Loa erupting doesn't spell immediate disaster for the inhabitants of the Big Island. Many of the recorded eruptions from the volcano so far have remained contained to the peak, far from any human habitation. The most recent eruption of Mauna Loa took place in 1984 and occurred with plenty of warning for those in danger to evacuate. In that instance, the lava made it all the way to the city of Hilo on the opposite side of the island. But in either case, experts will be unable to predict the extent of the eruption until the event itself is more imminent. For now, Hawaiian officials have warned residents of the Big Island to update their personal eruption plans and to have a go bag ready in case a quick evacuation is needed.
ice core pulled from Antarctica contains air that's 5 million years old. Antarctica is quite literally the bottom of the world, the other side and tucked far away. Given the harsh climate, researching exactly what goes on there has not always been easy, and our technology is only somewhat recently catching up enough for us to truly begin to unravel the mystery of the Southern Hemisphere's Antarctica. In August 2022, news came of a discovery revealing a piece of the Antarctic past as an ice core containing samples of the Earth's atmosphere from 5 million years ago. Researchers drilled and pulled out ice cores in Antarctica in an attempt to study air bubbles that have been trapped in the ice. These air bubbles act as small time capsules that can tell us about the Earth's atmosphere and what it was like when these air bubbles were formed. Some of these date back millions of years, though this new study saw a sample retrieved from the Ong Valley that dates back for 5 million years. This sample from the Ong Valley marks a transition in where researchers have been drilling. Previously, the team has pulled core samples from the eastern areas of Antarctica, as the ice there has slowly been added in cleaner layers over hundreds of lifetimes. For this new study, however, the Ong Valley was chosen. This is an area in the Transantarctic Mountains, a terrain that separates the east and the west of this frozen desert. The ice seen in the Ong Valley is the result of glaciers sliding from the mountains. This leaves behind a layer of rock protecting the ice below. The addition of the glacier ice means that there is a huge range observed, with the initial isotope testing revealing an age range from 5 million years old to just 3 million. But what did this research reveal? The 5 million year old air can show us the changes in the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, with a lot more being added since the start of the Industrial Revolution. The changing impact we are having upon the environment being visible through the progression of these air bubbles is truly fascinating, but also highly concerning. We need to take better care of our planet. Even the ice can see that. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.